Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage, uh, he needs no introduction. A uh, big round of applause for the very funny Mitch Hedberg. Thank you. Thank you, Al. Al. Al said I didn't. Thank you. Al said I didn't need an introduction, but Al needs an introduction and a post-traduction. That was Al Madrigal. Let's hear it. That's the post. Is that what you would call it? A post-traduction? That's correct, right? Post-traduction? Come on, fuckers. <laughs> Al does that baby material before me because he wants to make it rough on me because he knows that shit is endearing. <laughs> and it's, it's hard to follow. I can't follow eight minutes of baby material. I'm just gonna wait a while while you guys get that shit out of your head. <laughs> so it'll just be a minute here. I just don't want you to feel so endeared to Al. I, I, want, I want you to know Al's a fucker. <laughs> All right, now I can start. Now you know Al's no good. He's funny though, he's funny, he's a hard act to follow. I'm a hard, hard act to follow too, because when I'm done, I, I take the microphone with me. So that's going to be happening at the end of the show. So uh, if, you, if you have dentures, do not eat artificial sweetener, or you will get a fake cavity. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That, that was fucking all right. That joke is started with artificial. So I'm doing this shit alphabetically. Hey. Up next, a joke about a basketball. Not really, not really. During, during the summer, you know, it's hot, so they say beverages are ice cold. I hope not, because if a beverage was ice cold, it would be very difficult to drink, because it would be hard. <laughs> it's no longer liquid. <laughs> hey, Mitch, here's the beer. It's ice cold. God damn it. <laughs> Maybe I can lick it. <laughs> you, you. I called the hotel operator, and I said, oh, sorry, wrong number. But her number was zero. What number are you trying to dial when zero is the wrong number? Well, I was trying to call eight. Because I know someone whose number is eight. But fuck it, I went too low. I called the hotel operator. She said, how can I direct your call? Well, you could say action. And I will begin to dial. Then when I say goodbye, you can yell cut. And if you want, you can wear a beret and knickers. But that is completely up to you. I like being on the theater tour because I don't have to stand in front of that fucking brick wall. The fucking curtain. Brick walls make people funny, though. That's why a lot of comedy clubs have the brick wall backdrop. You're aware of that, right? Because I know in San Francisco there's no brick wall backdrop. But the, come on now, everyone stay with me. <laughs> Bricks make people funny. Like if I was in front of a fireplace, I'd be funny as shit. That's why bricks are fucking funny. Oh shit, my tooth hurt right in the middle of that joke. I can't do the rest now. Fuck, ouch, I got a cavity, I really do. Ah, it fucking hurts. I'm in pain right now. Seriously. I was got my teeth whitened, but then I said, fuck that, I'll just get a tan instead. So I gotta work on that. I use Listerine, that shit's painful. Germs do not go quietly. Listerine kills 99% of the germs. You know what that means? 1% still remains. And I'm like, dudes, how did you do it? You fuckers are amazing. How did you survive that Listerine tidal wave? Tell you what, you can hang out. Go ahead, make yourselves at home. I know you're sad, lots of your friends are dead. I'm having a serious dental problem live. <laughs> Is there a dentist in the house who can do an emergency extraction? <laughs> you guys think it's not funny. And it's not, so you're right, but fuck, I wish it was. Because then it wouldn't be so problematic talking about it. All right, good. This show's going real good right now. What am I drinking? NyQuil on the rocks. It's for if you're feeling sick but social. 
Yeah. I wish they made fajita cologne, because that shit smells good. I tried to walk into Target, but I missed. I think the entrance to Target said people splattered all around it. Then when I finally walk in, the guy says, can I help you? Just practicing. <laughs> I laughed at my own joke, and I already heard it. Hey, now is a hippopotamus a hippopotamus or a really cool apotamus? Dog is man's best friend, except for them drug-sniffing dogs. Those fuckers are tattletales. Why you got to tell on me, German Shepherd? German Shepherds are never in Germany. They, they left. A dog came to my back door, so I gave him a bone. He took the bone out to my backyard, and he buried it. I'm going to go out there and plant a tree with bones in it. Then the dog will come back and say, holy shit, it worked. I've created a bone tree. I must distribute these bones equally, for I have a green paw. These ain't jokes written in this book. These are positive reaffirmations. He said, you're doing fine. Don't worry about that tooth, dude. <laughs> I'm in trouble on this tour already, but I'm going to do good tonight because I like this fucking town, San Francisco. That's, that's a good town. This whole week has been good cities, San Diego, Phoenix, and uh, Guam. Now, I got a lamp in my hotel room, and it has a three-way light bulb in it. If you don't know what light bulb is, a three-way light bulb, it fucks with your head because you go to turn it off, and it just gets brighter. It's like, God damn it, light bulb, that's the exact opposite of what I wanted you to do. Then you turn it again, it gets brighter once more. I will fucking break you. <laughs> you bitch. I'm sick of seeing squirrels on water skis. Fuck that. Hey, I wear a necklace because it helps me know when I'm upside down. I got an idea for sweatshop shit. Air conditioning. That's simple. I solved the problem. The six-year-old boys can go ahead and continue working 16-hour days. Just turn it on high, cool. So anyhow, uh, <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to say next, so I laughed. Hey, what's behind this curtain, man? <laughs> oh. Oh, a lot of shit. Imagine if you were a drummer and you accidentally picked up two pairs of magic wands... <laughs> That would be fucking ridiculous. You'd be having a beat, but spells be happening and shit. Um, so now, I got a tartar control toothpaste. I still got tartar, but that shit is under control. If the tartar gets out of line, I'm like, come on, man, you know the deal. Fall in, you crazy ass tartar. I got so much tartar, I don't have to dip my fish sticks in shit. Nah, that's gross, man. I'm just kidding. I don't know how much tartar I actually have. I believe it's the average amount. If we all did a tartar test right now, my name would be right in the fucking middle. Hey, that was weird. Fish. Now, if you're a fish and you want to become a fish stick, you have to have very good posture. You can't be a slouchy fish or you will become a fish clump. And fish clumps are rarely used as appetizers. They are thrown away, discarded back to the sea, where they will be eaten. Fish eat other fish. If fish could scream, the ocean would be loud as shit. <laughs> you would not want to submerge your head. Nothing but fish going, ah, fuck. I thought I looked like that rock. Now, there's a lot of plants in the ocean, but you can't have ocean plants as house plants because you'd have to water them way too much. Mitch, let's go. I can't. I had to water the seaweed. Till when? Till forever. Fuck that. All right. Fuck that. That's my last. What's that, lady? What are you doing so high up? Why don't you come back down? Are you in a fucking hot air balloon? 
You know, Dr. Scholl, he makes foot products, right? And he's a doctor, so he spent lots of time in school. But it doesn't take a lot to figure out that stepping on a cushion will be more comfortable. <laughs> that fucker wasted lots of time at school. Because I'd have bought that shit from a Mr. Show. Maybe even a Senior Show. I went to a doctor. All he did was suck blood from my neck. Do not go see Dr. Acula. That's right. All right, that joke's retarded. I'm aware of that. But I have to tell it, because otherwise I would be 30 seconds short every night. I had an apartment. It was infested with koala bears. It was the, hey, thanks a lot. It was the cutest infestation ever. Way better than cockroaches. I was trying to let a bunch of koala bears would scatter. And I didn't want them to. I was like, hey, hold on, fellas. Let me hold one of you. You cuddly fuckers. Don't go behind the toaster. You can't fit back there. Come on out and let me feed you a leaf. I like everything about you except for your nose and claws. Koala bears are so fucking cute. Why do they have to be so far away? Why can't they be indigenous to where I'm at? We need to ship a few over in a cardboard box with holes in it. Because that's how animals travel. That I will apprehend one and hold him close and pet the back of his head. Let him know everything's going to be all right. I was distracted during that joke because there's a piece of something on the floor. Ah, weird, man. l and Electronics Service Company, Daily City. All right. I got a new place to buy stereos. This one commercial said, forget everything you know about slipcovers. So I did. And it was a load off my mind. And then the commercial tried to sell slipcovers, but I didn't know what the fuck they were. I had the cab driver drive me here backwards. The fucker owed me $27.50. Yeah, I want to rob a bank with a BB gun. Give me all your money or I will give you a dimple. I will be rich. You will be cute. Like Al's baby. Al's baby. Now, sugar creates cavities, so if you need to dig a hole, just fuck the shovel, lay down some candy bars, and leave for a week. And then, ha <laughs> ha! Fuck that joke, it ain't quite ready. I've been working on it though, god damn it. Hmm, it's a bitch. I love hotels that have rotating restaurants on top. I've never been to a rotating restaurant. One time I took my girlfriend to a merry-go-round. I put her on it, and I gave her a burrito. I said, eat that, bitch. I would imagine the headless horseman's horse is fucking confused. What's up with this dude on top of me? Seems like he might not be able to see. He's going in all weird areas. And he never says, whoa. Because, he, see, the headless horseman, thank God, is not on a headless horse. Because that would be some fucking chaos. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I've been wanting a headless horseman joke for years, and I'm almost there. The ESPYs, ESPN Awards, ESPYs. I love how they just said, fuck the end, it's not fitting in. When we nicknamed this bitch. All right, gotta work on that one. Hey, I got a funny fucking ESPN Joe. How many people here watch ESPN Classic? Anybody? Yeah, man. It's all right. I watched a baseball game on ESPN Classic. The guy hit a foul ball. Fucking classic, man. That shit was legendary. Thank God they took care of that tape. All right, that's not bad. Magicians disappear all the time, but as soon as a regular person does it, everyone's fucking scared. <laughs> Tom's gone. Is he a magician? No. Well, let's print up some flyers. I went to a restaurant with my friend. He said, pass the salt. I said, fuck you. Sit closer to the salt. <laughs> then I ordered a chicken sandwich, but I don't think the waitress understood me because she said, how would you like your eggs? So I tried to answer her anyhow. I said, incubated, and then raised, and then beheaded, and then plucked, and then cut up, then put onto a grill, then put onto a bun. Shit, it's going to take a while. 
I don't have time. Scrambled. <laughs> you fucking win. I love sandwiches, but I hate sandwiches at the New York delis because there's too much fucking meat on the sandwich. It's like a cow with a cracker on either side. <laughs> what would you like, sir? A pastrami sandwich. Anything else? Yeah, a loaf of bread and some other people. <laughs> what kind of bread? Rye bread. No, banana bread. Do you have that? What kind of cheese? Cottage. Get the fuck out. I'm not making a banana bread pastrami cottage cheese sandwich. That will severely ruin my reputation. I love cottage cheese. That's why I want to try other dwelling cheeses too. Like I want to try split level entry cheese. Or bungalow cheese. Or if I'm feeling adventurous, mobile home cheese. And don't eat mobile home cheese during a tornado. That's all I got to say. And then there's more things, but I ain't got time. This red liquid doesn't seem to get any lower. This shit is <laughs> re-upping itself. <laughs> when I'm on the hotel elevator, I like to pretend that someone else's floor is wrong. Like if someone gets on and presses three, I'm like, you're on three. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> I don't think I can ride with you. There's no 13th floor in most hotels because of superstition. But come on, man, the people on the 14th floor, you know what floor you're really on. <laughs> what room are you in, 1401? No, you're not. Jump out the window. You will die earlier. Because <laughs> 13 is an unlucky number, right? Well, then so should the letter B be, because B looks like a scrunched together 13. <laughs> Hello, what is your name? Bob. Get the fuck away. Ah, the fucking A. Can't. Oh, yeah. That reminds me of this joke, man. I saw this lady on TV. She was born without arms. She was born with her hands attached to her shoulders. And that was sad. But then they said, Lola does not know the meaning of the word can't. And that, to me, was actually kind of worse in a way, you know? Not only does she not have arms, but she doesn't understand simple contractions. It's like, fuck, it's so easy, Lola. You just take two words, you put them together. You take out the middle letters, then you put a comma in there, and you raise it up. <laughs> Do you understand won't? What about don't you know arm lady? No, it shouldn't, that's not funny, but it was sad, but it's, fuck, man. Can't, cannot, fuck. <laughs> fuck, it's so simple. <laughs> the Guinness Book of World Records was just listed in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the book that has the most world records in it. Second place, the Henderson Book of World Records. <laughs> Much less read. I got a copy in my back pocket. You know, when you buy jeans, maybe your waist will get smaller, and that will be good. But, you know, hopefully the length don't, you know. Like, if you buy jeans that are, like, have a 30-inch waist, and then uh, a couple months later, they're 28, good for you. But if there's, like, 30-inch waist by 29 length, and then a couple months later, they're 30-inch waist by 22, Something's fucking seriously wrong. <laughs> All right, that joke. Too many words, not enough laughs. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. I need something that's good now. I'm in a fucking tight spot. <laughs> God damn it, I hate being here. Fuck. I know, I know what I'll do. More microphone stand material. I got an oscillating fan. The fan goes back and forth like this. It looks like the fan is saying no. <laughs> so I like to ask you questions that a fan would say no to. They say, do you keep my hair in place? <laughs> no, you don't. Do you keep my papers in order? That's another correct answer. <laughs> do you have three settings? Liar! <laughs> my fan fucking lied to me. Now I will pull the pin up. Now you ain't saying shit. <laughs> All right. All right. Some uh, enthusiasm. Thanks, Warfield members. I'm serious. That's cool, man. It's all black up here. There's no fucking fluorescent tape. I, I'm in a fucking void. I have no idea where the floor ends. Shit, help. I'm falling. But fuck, I think the people are out here. 
I like the way this theater is positioned. It seems like you guys were chasing me, closing in, and then said, fuck it, let's sit down. <laughs> I read last year that MTV's Real World got 15,000 applications. That's amazing, man. Such an even number. You would think it would be 15,000 and eight. I think we need to open the apartment depot because there's many home depots for homeowners, but there's no apartment depots for the apartment dweller. That's right. This tour, this tour was listed as a lot of people, Stephen Lynch and Mitch Hedberg are not household names because most of their fans live in apartments. So I know that you're out there. I don't know who wrote that shit, but fuck, it's funny. There's some funny people at Clear Channel putting the shows together. Clear Channel, because the fuzzy chat. Hey, man, this, this show is sponsored by it. Fuck, you should leave now. But wait till I'm done. And Steven's done, too. Wait for we're both done. Why are you booing that? You don't like that shit, huh? Eey, sorry, I didn't mean to bring it up. I'm going to bring up some other subject. Fuzzy Channel. You know that one? That's fucking 88.8. That shit is fuzzy. Come on, fuckers, laugh. This is coming off the top of my head. <laughs> and the top of my head ain't funny. It's the back of my neck. That's right. Now, uh, <laughs> I remember, uh, imagine if there was a robot and it was fat. That would be ridiculous. Why is that robot fat? Fuck. It was made by man. Oh. Anyway, we got to finish the apartment depot joke. Now, the apartment depot would just be a big warehouse that's empty. People standing around saying, we ain't got to fix shit. Yeah. Fuck. Mow the lawn, fuck you. Mow the lawn, fuck you. That's not the new punchline. It's mow the lawn, pardon me. That's what it really is. But that was the blue version. Hey, good. No one's laughing. I hope the owner don't walk in now, too. <laughs> hey, if you want to talk to me after the show, I'll be fucking surprised. <laughs> I saw... What's that, man? All right. I love you, too. You're a dude, and I love you. I love everybody here, because you guys came down, and I appreciate that. That's cool, man. Thanks. That's right. That's right. You came down. Yeah, you can slowly clap. Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. I appreciate it. Seriously. I'm so glad you came down. What? Someone said my name? No? All right. Fuck. I just thought for a minute I was Dave, and I'm like, shit. Oh, that's right, Mitch. I love Texas. Anyone else? Yeah. Come on. Don't boo Texas. It's the only state ballsy enough to have its own toast, for Christ's sakes. Texas toast. Fuck yeah. It's thicker. That's the only difference. It's Texas toast. I love Texas toast, but I do not have a Texas toast er. I gotta stuff that shit in. Come on. <laughs> Texas toast, Denver omelet, Idaho potatoes, Seattle coffee. Yeah, that's not a joke. It's just a delicious breakfast. So enjoy one tomorrow, nationwide. This fucking show sounds fucking pre recorded. I'm not talking like I'm actually here. Last night we spilled some whiskey on the rug, so we vacuumed it up. Then the vacuum was fucked up. <laughs> we had to take the Hoover to detox. I like the FedEx driver because he's a drug dealer and he don't even know it. And he's always on time. I like my drugs to have a tracking number so I can figure out exactly where they are. I almost left the stage there. Where are the drugs at? I don't know, call the 1-800 number. <laughs> Your drugs are loaded onto a van at 7.48 a.m. and are scheduled for delivery today. Perfect, that's what I pay for. My drug dealer wears a uniform and he drives a nice truck. I wanna see how good this motherfucker on the spotlight is. Not bad, not bad. I don't know if he's from the union, though. He might be a dude we picked up and said, do you want 25 bucks? But look at that. He's actually got me good, man, right in the middle. 
He's got the white shade, which is the proper one. Green means <laughs> go. <laughs> hey, now, um, I hate to dream because dreaming takes energy. Sleeping is supposed to be a relaxing affair. Dreaming takes work. I lay down on a bed, it feels great. Next thing you know, I have to build a go-kart with my ex-landlord. It's like, fuck, haven't seen you for a while. Hey, if you can't sleep, count sheep. Don't count endangered animals, you will run out. I tried it, I fucking failed. Some of this shit. Hey, um. This thing if I was like just a total fucking ridiculous comic and like <laughs> my microphone had coke on the end of it, I'd be going, all right, for that joke. <laughs> so comedy from the <laughs> Anyhow, all right, man. I think foosball is a combination of soccer and shish kebabs. Foosball fucked up my perception of soccer. I thought I had to kick the ball and then spin round and round. I can't do a backflip, much less several. Simultaneously with two other guys that look just like me. I can't kick a ball with my legs together. And I refuse to dye my hair black and mat it to my fucking head. I got a belt on, my belt holds up my pants, and my pants have belt loops that hold up my belt. What the fuck's really happening down there? Who is the real hero? Hey, how about that word lull? Fuck, that's got a lot of L's in it. Shit. Lull. Three out of four of the letters are L. That word is one L away from being four L's in a row, which would be hard to say. All right, I, I heard you before, I think. But hey, maybe that's, hey, maybe he thought I forgot. And he was right. I was like, fuck, no one loves me. Wait, I think someone over there might. <laughs> yep, I remember now. Oh, yeah. Hey, this, I'm going way on the left side too much. I got to go over here more. Yeah, shit. <laughs> ha ha. Disappeared on your ass. You might be good, but you're not fucking penetratable. I was gone for a minute, <laughs> but now I'm back. So, um, I wish I could play Little League now. I'd kick some fucking ass. Those little punks would be backing up today. I'd say, go ahead, throw your curveball. You're 11, it won't curve. Hey, if you want to go on vacation and you don't have a lot of money, Key East, that's your answer. It's right by Key West. It's a lot cheaper, though, Key East. <laughs> I just think that's funny, fuck. Key East, fuck yeah, come on. That's all I need, I don't need an actual twist in the joke. Just Key East. Let's laugh, come on, fuck! I'm kidding, you don't have to, I'll just work on it, thanks for helping me out. You let me know that it's fucking pedestrian, which means it's walks. <laughs> that's funny. See, we're doing a joke laboratory. Creating jokes out of jokes. It's fucking magical. Imagine if you were a priest and the day came where you had to fight the devil. You'd be like, shit, I didn't think that was for real. <laughs> Fuck, I quit. If I was a criminal and Spider-Man was real and he shot me with a net, I would say, dude, thanks for the hammock. <laughs> then I would relax for a while and then go fuck some more shit up. I order the club sandwich all the time, and I'm not even a member, man. I don't know how I get away with it. I like my sandwiches with three pieces of bread. So do I. Well, let's form a club. Okay, but we need some more stipulations. Yes, we do. Instead of the cutting the sandwich once, let's cut it again. Fuck yeah, four triangles. We'll position them into a circle. And in the middle, we will dump chips. Or potato salad. All right, I can deal with that. Let me ask you a question. How do you feel about frilly toothpicks? I'm for them. Well, this club is formed then. Spread the word on menus nationwide. Hey, I like to take a toothpick and throw it in the forest and say, you're home. <laughs> Welcome back, 
motherfucker. You know that comedy club chain called the Improv? That's a bad name for a comedy club. That indicates that the jokes are coming off the top of the comic's head. That club should be called Written Earlier. <laughs> All right. That joke works better when you're actually at the improv. <laughs> mm-hmm. God damn it. Fuck, I have to keep pumping jokes out, I see. I just can't stop for a fucking second. Otherwise, shit gets awkward immediately. A fly was very close to being called a land, because that's what it does half the time. <laughs> All right. All right, man. I want to fucking... They say, uh, I bought a house. It's a two-bedroom house. Don't you? Fuck you, real estate lady. This bedroom has an oven in it. I tried to throw a yo-yo away. It was fucking impossible. I want to hang a map of the world in my house. Then I'm going to put pins into all the locations that I've traveled to. But first, I'm going to travel to the top two corners of the map so it won't fall down. I, I got a kitchen. but I don't have a microwave oven, though. But I do have a clock that occasionally cooks shit. Yeah. I got a blender, a toaster, a refrigerator. That's why I want to get a job naming kitchen appliances. That seems easy. You just say what the thing does, then you add er. It'd be an easy day at the kitchen appliance naming institute. Hey, what does this thing do? It keeps shit fresh. Well, that's a fresher. I'm going on break. <laughs> Fucking later. Where's the late at? Oh, no, I'm just leaving. Hey, it's, ah, yeah, fuck. I wish I could do that fajita joke again. That fucking worked good. <laughs> jellyfish are dangerous. Unless they're from Smuckers, then you want them to swim toward you. There's a jellyfish. Get away. It's from Smuckers. Oh, shit. Swim toward me. And land on this English muffin. <laughs> acid was my favorite drug because acid opened up my mind. Because of acid, I now know that butter is way better than margarine. I saw through the bullshit. When I was on acid, I realized that fettuccine Alfredo is macaroni and cheese for adults. When we were on acid, we were going to the woods, because when you're in the woods tripping, there's less likely a chance you run into an authority figure. But we ran into a bear. That was even more of a buzzkill. My friend Dwayne was standing there, raising his right hand, swearing to help prevent forest fires. We got away from the bear, he put his arm around my shoulder. He said, Mitchell, Smokey is way more intense in person. He's a fucking asshole. He doesn't even discuss forest fires, man. He just goes, grrr. G-R-R-R-R, fucker, don't even use a vowel. Oh, yeah, the mic, remember that joke? That's why I did it last night. I created that joke because I was sniffing it. Tony the Tiger is a fucking happy dude. <laughs> he thinks shit is great. <laughs> but one time I ordered uh, room service. Room service ain't cheap. Two tiny boxes of Frosted Flakes came to $37.50. <laughs> right on the box, Tony the Tiger was saying, they're f fucking expensive. It's like, God damn it, I didn't know you were so foul-mouthed. <laughs> Tony. All right, that joke is kind of silly. I hear Ah, fuck. You guys are a good barometer of shit. You will help me out when I go to Houston. I will say, well, this did not work in San Francisco, so I will not do it. What's that, man? All right, fuck. If you play weird instruments, just yell them out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Xylophone. Xylophone is spelled an X. That's wrong, man. Xylophone is X. I don't fucking see it. It should be a Z up front, you know? Next time you have to spell xylophone, use a Z. And if someone says, hey, that's wrong, say, no, it ain't. <laughs> if you think that's wrong, then you need to have your head Z-rayed. <laughs> it's like X wasn't given enough to do, so they had to promise it more. Okay, you won't start a lot of words, but we will give you a co-starring role in tic-tac-toe. And you will be equated with hugs and kisses. And you are going to mark the spot. And you will make writing Christmas easier. 
And incidentally, you will start xylophone. Are you happy, you goddamn ex? Come on, man. No, that ain't what I meant. That ain't what I meant. But hey, I love you guys for doing that. I love the enthusiasm. There's two headliners back to back. Fuck, that's a lot of comedy. Jesus Christ. What's next? Three? <laughs> that's right. My lucky number is four billion. That doesn't come in real handy when you're gambling. Come on, four billion. Fuck, seven. Not even close. Can I get some more dice? Can I get a lucky number without commas in it? One time I was drinking before a show and my manager said, Mitch, don't use liquor as a crutch. I can't use liquor as a crutch because a crutch helps me walk. <laughs> liquor severely fucks up the way I walk. It ain't like a crutch. It's like a step I didn't see. <laughs> liquor makes me lay down. <laughs> I saw a uh, uh, seagull hanging out by a lake. I said, dude, don't worry. I won't say shit. <laughs> yeah, so I uh, right, all right. I like an escalator because the escalator can never break. It can only become stairs. You would never see an escalator temporarily out of order sign, just escalator temporarily stairs. Sorry for the convenience. All right, man, fucking A. That's cool, last shit. What's that, dude? Oh, I can't fucking understand you. You're, you're too deep and low and high up there. All right, fuck. I better pick one out myself. Because I can't understand the goddamn word everyone's saying. I, I like that thing that they attach to a garden hose. I know no one yelled this one out, but fuck. I can't hear you. It makes your garden hose longer. It's a garden hose extender. They say, you can water your heart to reach plants with this product. Who the fuck would make their plants hard to reach? That seems so goddamn diabolical. I know you need water, but I'm going to make you hard to reach. Because I fucking hate plants. I will throw water at you. Hopefully they invent something before you shrivel and die. They say, you can have this product for four easy payments of $19.95. I'd like to have a product that's available for three easy payments and one fucking complicated payment. We ain't going to tell you which payment it is, but one of these payments is going to be a bitch. The mailman will get shot to death, the envelope will not seal, and the stamp will be in the wrong denomination. Good luck, fuckhead. That last payment must be made in wampum. I collect stamps. The easiest way to collect stamps is to not mail shit. I, I want to do some jokes that you yell out. Let me hear one. You know when you go to a restaurant on the weekend, it gets busy. So they start a waiting list. They start calling out names. They'll say, Dufresne, party of two. Table ready for Dufresne, party of two. And if no one answers, they'll say the name again. Dufresne, party of two. But they have no one answers. They'll just go right on to the next name. Bush, party of three. Yeah, but what happened to the Dufresnes? No one seems to give a shit. Who can eat at a time like this? People are missing. You fuckers are selfish. The Dufresnes are in someone's trunk right now with duct tape over their mouth and they're hungry. That's a double whammy. We need help. I can tell you know that joke, but you're like, fuck, it was funnier on the CD. Hey, I'm trying my best. It's just because you already heard it. Hey, I'm going to leave. <laughs> fuck, I already did that one. Pringles. I, I think Pringles' initial intention was to make tennis balls. But on the day that the rubber was supposed to show up, a big truckload of potatoes arrived. And Pringles is a laid-back company. They said, fuck it, cut them up. I like potato chips, too. We'll play tennis later. Now, when you're a comedian, they want you to write a TV show, you know? I've always come up with a good one, and they steal it from me every year, you know? Like, I'll say, hey, how about we do another season of Will and Grace? And they'll go, no, Mitch. And fuck, next thing you know, there it is. 
It's like, you fuckers. All right, you, you got it in there, bitch. Bitch! I say bitch too much. I bought a donut and they gave me a receipt for the donut. I don't need a receipt for a donut. I'll just give you the money, then you give me the donut and the transaction. We don't need to bring ink and paper into this. I just can't imagine a scenario where I would have to prove that I bought a donut. Some skeptical friend, don't even act like I didn't get that donut. I got the documentation right here. Oh, wait, it's at home in the file. Under D. There you go. Now, fuck, laugh at this shit if you're going to request it. <laughs> Fucker over there. I didn't hear one laugh coming from the direction of the word donut. You're trying to fuck with me. You're yelling out shit that you don't think's funny. <laughs> now I get it. All right, well, fuck, I got your number, lady. What? You know when you go to England? I went to England, and I wanted to tell my Smoke of the Bear joke in England. So I had to ask the English people if they know who Smoke of the Bear was. But they don't, because in England, Smoke of the Bear is not the forest fire prevention representative. They have Smacky the Frog. It's just like a bear, but it's a frog. And I think that's a better system. I think we should adopt it. Because bears can be mean. But frogs are always cool. I never has there been a frog hopping toward me, and I thought, man, I better play dead. Here comes that frog. I've never said, here comes that frog horrifyingly. It's always optimistic. Like, hey, here comes that frog. Fantastic. Maybe he will settle near me, and I can pet him and put him in a mayonnaise jar with a stick and a leaf to recreate what he's used to. And I certainly have to punch some holes in the lid because he's damn sure used to air. And then I can observe him, and he won't be doing much in his 16-ounce world. Some of you don't like the, the end of the jokes because you yell at something right when I'm about to finish it up. Like, oh, fuck, we don't need that last line. I'm glad you guys know some of my material. That's cool. But fuck, that makes me think, shit, I better start writing. You know, kittens, kittens play with yarn. They bat it around. But what they're really saying is, I can't, Nick, get this away from me. You make the sweater. Motherfucker. I don't know why I say motherfucker now. I'm sick of soup of the day. It's time we make a decision. I want to know what the fuck soup from now on is. All right, all right. No one said soup, I guess. What? Race car. I want to be a race car passenger. Just the guy who bugs the driver. Say, man, can I turn on the radio? You should slow down. Why we got to keep going in circles? Can I put my feet out the window? You need to make a right. Man, you really like Tide. All right. Yeah. It's cool, man. Cool. Let me just see something here for a minute. Eh? I don't have a watch on. Just a place where one could go. What time is it? All right. Excellent. Hey, that guy turned it off while I left. He made it look like the show was over. Fuck, you're fired. I said you're fired. Whoa, that fucker won't leave. He's a goddamn tough love spotlight operator. Because I refuse to unlight you. Because you must be seen. At Eastern Union, if you need some money to come back to you. All right, I don't know. That's fucking retarded, too. I want to hang on here. I just want to try this. Uh, maybe I want to try maybe something in this book here because this book has the funniest shit ever. <laughs> no, that's not a good way to book it up. <laughs> you know when people use breadcrumbs to let someone know who's following them? Well, not people. I guess only Hansel did it. But, you know, that's a bad way to have people follow you with breadcrumbs. <laughs> only one who will follow you will be a duck who is full. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ant farm. I got an ant farm. Them fellas didn't grow shit. I said, come on, what about some celery? You fuckers don't farm. Plus, if I tore your legs off, you would look like snowmen. 
Now, if you were a porcupine and you were friendly, it would be hard to get the word across. Because people would say, fuck, get away. But I'm a social. Well, dude, them sticks ain't. I sell t-shirts after the show. They don't have my name on them. They're just Hanes three packs. <laughs> I missed the $2 bill, man, because I could break a two. 20, no. 10, no. Five, maybe. Two, oh, yeah. What do we need? A one and another one. How about a one and four quarters? I have every option you can imagine. Ah, people say, Mitch, isn't it frustrating being on the road by yourself? Yeah, sometimes, like when I throw a Frisbee. <laughs> Some comments get high before the show. I don't get high because when I'm high, I don't want to stand in front of a bunch of people that I don't know. That does not sound comfortable. Like when you're high and a joke doesn't work, it's extra scary. It's like, whoa, what the fuck happened there? I am retreating within myself. Why have all these people gathered? And why am I elevated? Why am I not facing the same way as everyone else? And what is this electric stick in my hand? I want a chair, too. <laughs> Root beer, fuck. Roots are not tasty. I got to get some good shit at the end here, because when you wrap it up, you got to be funny. You got to start the show strong and end the show strong. Those are the two key elements. You can't be like pancakes, all exciting at first, but then by the end, you're fucking sick of them. I want to make that a new comedy term. He's pancaking. That guy's starting to suck, and I need a glass of milk. I like a waffle, because a waffle's like a pancake with a syrup trap. A waffle says to the syrup, hold on now. You ain't going anywhere. Don't even be trying to creep down the side. Just rest in these squares. If one square is full, move on to the next one. When you hit the butter, split the fuck up. Ah. Rich crackers. On the back of a box of rich crackers, it has all these suggestions. As to what to put on top of the Ritz, it says, put some lunch meat up on there. Put some peanut butter. But I got crackers because I like crackers, man. You got no faith in your product. I did not buy little edible plates. Everything you want me to put on top of the cracker is better than the fucking cracker. You want to be cool about association. Lunch meat does not have suggestions as to what to slip underneath it. Come on, fuck. Lunch meat. You know when you go to a grocery store, you stand in front of the lunch meat section for too long? You start to get pissed off at turkeys. You see turkey ham, turkey pastrami, turkey bologna. Someone needs to tell the turkeys, man, just be yourself. I already like you, little brother. <laughs> you don't need to emulate the other animals. You got your own thing going. I used to draw you. That's why turkeys don't commit crimes. It'd be too easy to identify. What's the turkey look like, ma'am? <laughs> we'll get them. We'll get our police sketch artist on the runaway. It's Ricky from the second grade. <laughs> Fuck. Phone number. I hope the next time I move, I get a real easy phone number. Something that's easy to remember. Something like 222 222. I would say, sweet. And people say, Mitch, how do I get a hold of you? I say, just press two for a while. And when I answer, you will know you are pressed to enough. <laughs> and instead of hello, I say, stop. I think Bigfoot is blurry. That's the problem. It's not the photographer's fault. Bigfoot is a fuzzy motherfucker. And that's extra scary to me, because that means there's a large, out-of-focus monster coming at me in Oregon. One time a guy handed me a picture. He said, here's a picture of me when I was younger. Every picture is of you when you were younger. Here's a picture of me when I'm older. You son of a bitch. How did you pull that off? Let me see that camera. I bought a waterproof camera in case I crashed my car into a lake. But then at the last minute, I see a photo opportunity. 
Oh, I'm about to die, but I'll be damned. Look at that seahorse. <laughs> ah, shit. Uh, Pizza Hut is the cockiest pizza chain on the planet. Because Pizza Hut will accept all competitors' coupons. That makes me wish I had my own pizza place, Mitch's Pizzeria. This week's coupon, unlimited free pizza. Special note, coupon not good at any of the Mitch's Pizza locations. Free pizza oven with purchase of a small Coke. Two for Tuesday, buy one pizza, get one franchise, free. Hey, that's new technique for joke telling. Act like I'm willing it onto the paper. Act like everything. Do you write jokes? No, I just say them and then go. And there they are. Baked potato, I love them, man, but I don't have a microwave oven. It takes forever to cook a baked potato in a conventional oven. Sometimes I'll just throw one in there, even if I don't want one. But by the time it's done, who knows? <laughs> hey, I got an apartment. I had a neighbor. Whenever he would knock on my wall, I knew he wanted me to turn my music down. That made me angry because I like loud music. So he knocked on the wall and fucked with his head. I would say, go around. I could not open the wall. I don't know if you have a doorknob on the other side, but over here, there's nothing. It's just flat, motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker ends eight of my jokes. I got to switch one of them, or seven. What? You know, I was with my friend. He goes, Mitch, I hear music. Well, that's exactly how I take it in, too. Uh, Oh, okay. You know, alcoholism is a disease, but it's the only disease that you can get yelled at for having. God damn it, Otto, you're an alcoholic. God damn it, Otto, you have lupus. One of those two doesn't sound right. I want to walk around with one of those little airplane-sized bottles of liquor and act like I'm a fucking drunk. Let's go. Whoa. Fuck, man. Dude, you got... Eight fucking heads. I'm fucked up. This shit is crazy. I like uh, V-neck shirts. You know, my next fragile. I hate wearing regular neck shirts like this. They hurt. I especially hate turtlenecks. Like wearing a turtleneck is like being strangled by a really weak guy. <laughs> All fucking day. Like if you were a turtleneck in a backpack, it's like a weak midget trying to bring you down. Yeah. I bought a vest. If I had my arms cut off, it would be a jacket. All right. No, all right. You guys have been a lot of fun. I'm going to do two more jokes, and then I'm going to fucking do three more, and then there will be five. And then after that, I will subtract a joke by saying it backwards. It's fucking complicated. I wish the, I, I, my friend said, Mitch, do you want a frozen banana? No, but I want a regular banana later, so yeah. <laughs> you know, on a traffic light, green means go and yellow means yield, but on a banana, it's just the opposite. Green means hold on. <laughs> yellow means go ahead. And red means where the fuck did you get that banana? I love to play at colleges, you know, I never went to college, but if I did, I have taken all my tests at a restaurant because the customer is always right. <laughs> ah, fuck. God damn it. This is joke-a-thon. <laughs> Fucking 88 jokes I told. Fucking right. This one's, and I, hey, you guys don't know about the creative pause, do you? <laughs> you like to insert shit. You guys just say shit off the top of your head, I see. Yep. Fucking hey, lady. I hear ya. You can tone that down by 50% and save some of your vocal cords. What did she say now? Oh, yeah. You know when you go, to, I saw a duck in downtown Boise, Idaho. I knew the duck was lost because ducks ain't supposed to be downtown. That's not for them. So I went to a Subway sandwich shop. I said, let me have a bun. But they wouldn't sell me just a bun. They said, I had to have something on it. She said, it's against regulations for Subway to sell just a bun. I guess the two has ain't supposed to touch. 
So I said, all right, we'll put some lettuce on. What's they do? They said, that'll be a dollar seventy-five. I said, it's for a duck. They said, all right, well then it's free. See, I did not know that. Ducks eat for free at Subway. <laughs> Had I known that, I've ordered a much larger sandwich. <laughs> Let me have the steak fajita sub, but don't bother ringing it up. It's for a duck. <laughs> there are six ducks out there, and they all want sun chips. <laughs> I had a bag of Fritos. They were Texas Grill Fritos. These Fritos had grill marks on them. Hell yeah, it reminds me of summer when we used to fire up the barbecue and throw down on some Fritos. <laughs> I can still see my dad with the apron on. You better flip that Frito, Dad. You know how I like it. <laughs> People say, hey, Mitch, uh, where are you going next week? I said, the week after now. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> that could be funny. I'm just trying to say that. There's a restaurant by my house that has a drive through They say, we'll get your drive through food to you in 30 seconds or less. That's too fast, man. I didn't think they could top it. But you know what they did? Because the last time I was there, I saw a dude who looked like me eating what I was going to order. <laughs> fuck. Damn it. Fuck. Come on. All right, I got to wrap this shit up, man, because we got more. So. You know, I was at a restaurant. I saw a guy wearing a leather jacket at the same time. He's eating a hamburger and drinking a glass of milk. I said, dude, you are a cow. You have made the fucking transition. Don't fall asleep. I will tip you over. Hey, that's my manager's favorite joke. Nah, I did it for him. I got a new CD. It's in stores. When you have a CD in stores, you have to do in-store appearances. If nobody shows up, I just pretend like I'm shopping. <laughs> All right, man. Are you guys having a good time? Good. Because now you're going to have even more fun because it's fucking intermission. All right, I'm going to do two jokes and get out. And then Al's going to come back. I don't know what Al's going to do. There may be an intermission. There may not be. Fuck. Who am I, the fucking stage manager? <laughs> Leave me alone, fuck you. I'm just kidding, all right. You notice all the comedians have similar hair tonight? Because we're all using the Doubletree in-house shampoo. <laughs> so we all have equal shine and bounce. It's a two-in-one shampoo, and two-in-one is a bullshit term, because one is not big enough to hold two. That's why two was created. If it was two-in-one, it would be overflowing. The bottle would be all sticky and shit. I like to make a seven-in-one shampoo. It wash your hair, condition it, comb it, blow dry it, take a look at it in the mirror. A five-in-one shampoo. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right, have a good night, man. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Please enjoy Mr. Stephen Lynch and Mr. Al Madrigal. Here you go, Mitch Hedberg, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Al. Yeah, I'll do another 30 minutes. You got it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> there he is. Ladies and gentlemen, let him hear it. Mitch Hedberg. All right, folks. We are going to take a uh, quick 15-minute intermission, and then we'll be right back with Stephen Lynch. All right, thank you.